All right, so we've got 2023.26.8. So just a quick summary. The 2023 is the year. The dot 26 is the week of the year. So that's sometime in June. And then dot 8 is the revision. They're just minor updates and bug fixes. Now, the first thing you'll notice is uh, down in the bottom right, there's a little blue dot underneath the car and also in here a little blue dot now that blue dot indicates there's something new and the blue dot is something new in itself so going into there you'll see arcade has got a blue dot and spotify has got a blue dot we'll cover those in a minute and then under the car it's got a blue dot and as you can see there display has got a blue dot so that just indicates something new so we'll just go and look at the summary as i said 2023.26.8 indicates the dot 8 is a minor bug fix so 2023.26 which is the major update so the first thing on here is spotify refresh so spotify refresh play your spotify music playlists, podcasts and audiobooks with a more familiar look and feel. Go to the app launcher, Spotify. It does require premium connectivity. I've got that. It's only in Australia, $9.99 Australian a month. And I think it's actually probably very much worth it. And audiobooks, av availability varies by location. So some countries you can't get certain audiobooks so spotify has been refreshed i don't normally use spotify but we'll have a little look at that in a minute destination closing soon so when you're navigating somewhere it now shows if your destination is closing soon or may be closed by the time you arrive so if you're going out for a late night pizza and you're navigating to the pizza shop, it will tell you if it's still open, which is quite a handy little uh, thing. Now, it also, I believe, does uh, some pictures of the location, and we'll look at that in a minute. There's a new game, Vampire Survivors Game. I don't actually play many games, so this one doesn't appeal to me. But if you want to, um, it's defend yourself against an onslaught of night creatures to survive until dawn. Uh, now, to play games, you've obviously got to put the car into park and go to the app launcher arcade uh, vampire survivors. And you can use um, Bluetooth game controllers with that, which is the next one. Use Bluetooth controllers to play games in arcade. You pair a controller, open the Bluetooth panel, which you get up the top there, go into the car and up the top, uh, and follow the instructions to pair it. Now, it says here, this feature works best with PlayStation 5 controllers. Refer to owner's manual for more information. So, play games with a Bluetooth controller. As I said, I don't play games, but still. Camera view on Tesla app. You can now see multiple cameras at once when checking your vehicle's surroundings. To start using this feature, go to your vehicle, settings, in controls, safety, live view camera via Tesla app. So this feature requires Tesla app version 4.22.5 and premium connectivity and i've actually found the premium connectivity and uh, accessing the live view even though it was only one camera to be actually quite useful on the odd occasion the next one here is warmer display colors so you set your touchscreen to automatically adjust to warmer colors at night go to controls display reduce blue light and that helps you uh, get to sleep and so on more easily setting um, the blue light to reduced in the evening is an advisable thing and then there's some other updates now there's uh, quite a few here 
Recents and Favourites are now in separate tabs in the media player. The sliders to adjust volume, temperature and charge limit are more precise. And I must say that's good because sometimes I'm trying to slide it and it does jump around a bit. Sentry mode records if someone tries to open a door or trunk when the vehicle is locked. Now it should record movement and therefore record the person. But if they're just standing there with no movement, it will stop recording. But if they try to open the door, it will record it. This is, I think, an additional safety feature, which is quite welcome. Then access the owner's manual and release notes more quickly with the new manual app. Read up on everything from regenerative braking to phone key or maximizing range. So the owner's manual is available on the screen, it's available on the web, and it's very, very comprehensive. And I would advise all new owners to have a quick look at that and a, a quick read. Automatic navigation shows more details about your destination. That's what I was referring to with it's got pictures and more details there. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. Swiss French keyboard is available for all those Swiss French people. You're in luck. And or some of these availabilities does vary by model and location. So there's some things that are available on the S and X that aren't on the 3 and Y and vice versa. So let's just go back and have a look at Spotify. So we go in here and we can go to Spotify. As you see, it's got the new um, underneath it. Uh, you can log into your Spotify account. Um, I tend, as I said, I tend not to use Spotify. Um, or you can use the vehicle account. Um, don't have a Spotify, Tesla can create an account for use in this vehicle. So we'll accept the things and bingo, there we go. You've got Spotify. Now, if you're a Spotify user, this is supposed to be a little bit more uh, normal compared to what they had before. Um, so if you wanna to go to search, then I might go um, 80s top, Oops, da, da, da. top hits. Let's see if it comes up with anything. There we go. Look at that. So there's podcast top results. There's albums, uh, top 80 hits um, and so on. So I don't know if this is more normal, but then you can um, go into uh, to that and you can play it. All right, so that is that one. The other one that was on here with a blue dot on it is Arcade. And there we go. You've got the new Vampire Survivors game. I don't tend to use that very much. All right, so display. Reduce blue light, which is new. So if you put that on, what happens is at night, it makes it a warmer color. So I'm gonna put that on and see if it makes any difference. So we've had a look at Spotify. Let's have a look at destination closing soon. If you make sure you've got that hit, some things will then appear in here and we can then pick something and hopefully it will come up with a bit of a picture. So there's a playground there. And here we go. We've got pictures of that playground. You can navigate there. You can turn it into a favorite. It's open 24 seven. There is a review. There's time zone Baldivis. Once again, we've got some pretty pictures. Um, it's open until 9 p.m. So, I mean, this can be quite useful. And then it's got some reviews. Obviously, all these reviews are quite good. So that's additional information when you're going to navigate somewhere. So after that, we've got 
I've shown you the Vampire Survivors game. Bluetooth controllers. All we do is we go into Bluetooth and then you'll need to um, pair, add a new device and then you pair it with your uh, Bluetooth controller. So once again, back here, camera view on Tesla app. So it says, go to controls, safety, live view, camera via Tesla app. Controls, safety, live view via mobile app. Okay, turning that off will make it harder for you to see. Make sure you've got the updated version. Next one, warmer display colors. I've already shown you that, turning it on. Other updates, uh, very quickly, recent and favorites uh, in the media player, uh, adjust volume, access the owner's manual more quickly. Here we go, that's that one. So you've got uh, getting to know your Tesla. There's some videos, in case you didn't know, you can uh, watch them. Then you can go to the owner's manual, which will come up, software version 2023.26, how to use the owner's manual. And then you've got a whole heap of different things down there, which is quite useful, as I said. Um, so going down a bit more, uh, we've just shown you the automatic navigation um, about the details of your destination and, well, I don't know about a Swiss French keyboard, um, not Swiss French. So there we go. So there you have it. 2023.26.8 is this version. As I said, 2023 is the year, 26 is the week in that year, so that will be June sometime, and we're currently halfway through August at least, and dot eight is just the minor bug fixes. There was dot six, dot seven out, and this one's dot eight, which came out, um, I think, earlier on this week. There you have it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful. Don't forget, if you could click that like and subscribe button below, that would be really, really nice. And I'll see you all very soon.